Hi, welcome back at histocam.com, a museum of old cameras with a story. Today we're going to talk a little bit about something, something different. The Steinek ABC. A friend of me has uh, asked me, um, because he had uh, a little problem with his, how you can turn the number of um, negatives. Well, it's rather tricky because this this uh, spy camera, it's uh, it seems like a watch, but it's a camera. It is very it has a very complex film container. Um, as you can see, when you push the button on the side, you will see that the number will be moving. There are eight uh, negatives. Well, let's say one negative with eight shots. When you push the button, the negative is turning. Now it's seven, now it's six, and so on and so on. Now, when it comes to zero, of course, the film is completely exposed and it won't go any further, nor the, the shutter will, uh, will open because otherwise you have a double exposed image. Now, how are we going to open this? Very easy. You have the, the film container, that is this, this round thing, and you see markings, red dot and red dot. That means that it is closed. You have to turn it, you see like this, open, just until the green dot is on the green dot. So let's do it. Very easy, gentle. It has to go smooth. If it doesn't go smooth, that means that or your container isn't correct, uh, inserted, or uh, there's something wrong me mechanically with your uh, with your watch. So when it's on the green, you can simply lift it. You see over here a little hook there. That is the hook that will take every time uh, the negative with it and it will be turned. So when I push this button, you will see here that the, the opening of the shutter is turning. Let's say this is just an opening, the shutter is behind it. When the opening comes at this place, the shutter will fire, like you see. Now, now the shutter has fired. You see that the pin over here is ready to take the film with it, and there it goes. Now, let's put this a little bit aside. Let's see at the film container. One thing is very important, you see over here, that rectangle uh, yeah, thing, <laughs> she'll call it. That has to come over there, and that is going to hold this this part. So when you are uh, putting in the cassette, that's going to stick, and then you're going to turn the cassette, and you see what's going on, just like that. Then it is open and it is ready to fire. Now over here you see a smart hole. Well, that is the hole where um, that little pin that we showed here for the film transport over there. And that hole, the little pin, will pull everything back. Okay, now let's close it up again. Just like that. Now, how are we going to open this film cassette? Very easy. You need a screwdriver that is exactly the same size of this one. You put it in. And you see here a little marking. A little white marking. When it is in one line of the place where you put the screwdriver, it means it's closed. 
when you put your screwdriver in it and you turn it 90 degrees and then you push a little bit so like that the container will open up first thing you see at the container is uh, just uh, the casing and over here you have the numbers now think about it it was stuck like that it was on zero the best thing is to put everything aside like it was put in the container you see here those markings and you also see here the little square over there just keep in mind when you keep this up this go on top of it and then the lens uh, the lens which is uh, showing the number is at the right just keep this in mind then you will never have problems to reput to put everything back again so let's see what is this about you have the dial plate you have also no it's a little bit tricky a holder of the dial plate and then you have over here the space where the film is in between so you move it a little bit because it's a, a, con a conical hole that's a little bit tricky let's see if I can get it loose oh, just like that so you see then again you have this part and then you have the sort kind of uh, yeah well template to uh, expose the film and you have the holder at the other side now what is important uh, just to know the the sequence is the following you have the holder with the, the little uh, square uh, over there of course I'm gonna put this a little bit aside when you turn this you will open it up eventually but let's say that it is now not uh, what we want you see like that then it's open it's a little bit hard to to take it with us so like that and then it's close maybe it's better to show like that open uh, little bit mm. tricky maybe I can come on yeah it's, it doesn't turn always very smooth because of course now it's disassembled and you can't get grip on it so okay let's close the thing up good how will we assemble everything first of all it must be closed let that be uh, be sure when it's closed you see the little pin over here is completely at the left that is closed and then that little square marking is at the top then next thing is a negative holder negative holder we are going to put it like that on it but normally we put first on top of this the film 
then we are placing this part just like that then there comes this part but I'm gonna place it first inside the holder so just like that be sure be aware there are some three three markings the markings that are little bubbles or how do you call it it must be must be down so the upstanding here has to be up and then in that we are going to place the dial now we're going to place the dial just like that so okay now everything is normally in it remember what we said we said the square thing must be up and the lens must be at the right so be sure that this is correct also because you can freely turn this now what we are going to do is the following we need now to put the 8 behind behind the the little and now I lost the name um, behind behind the little window oh my god okay behind the little window so it is better to have this one in line with the eight then it goes really smooth you put it on top it's falling into it press press it a little, a little bit uh, you see there is the 8 behind the, the window and then just turn it 90 degrees if everything is in it like it should be there should be no problem to turn it now it's not the case so let's check where it went wrong I'm gonna push it okay now let's see uh, that at the top eight in line with the two markings And then it should just work like that. Normally this should do the trick. Of course it has to be closed completely. Like that like you see and now it is closed it went very very smooth when you when you have a very small bit of resistance please don't force it because it this is plastic the rest is just a uh, very light metal you see it's not 100% correct so I didn't do it 100% correct so I will open it up now it's not really important but Otherwise, you, uh, if you really want to use a film on, on this, it has to be 100% correct. Otherwise, um, you will have uh, moon shots, half moon shots and not uh, complete round shots. So that's better. Let's, let's close it up like that. Now, when we're putting this back on, like I said, remember green on green red and then turn it just till red and you see over here the little square parts i will take something to show 
the little square part over here has to go over there. So let's do this. Normally when it when it fits, you see green is on green. So that's correct. Then you just turn it till red is on red and you are ready to go take uh, some shots. Six, five, four, three. Just like that. So that was a little explanation about the Steinec ABC watch camera. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back at uh, this channel of histocam.com. Bye bye.